We're looking at Flying Waters, commissioned by Tama Art for Berlin Art Week. It's being shown at the Koenig Gallery on the side of the old church, St. Agnes. The piece is an offspring from research I'm doing on digital self-generative water that will be mixed with real water in the piece, the mother that I'm producing for Terma. This might look like a video, but it's generated in an app programmed to produce endlessly new versions of those flying waters. So they're always flying in a different way and you can stand there for a hundred hours and you never recognize a pattern or repetition. The shadows make it look as if the jets are coming further or closer to the wall. Sometimes it looks like they're going out of the image, but that's like an old trick that I use to project black at the fringes. I'm not trying to entirely trick the audience, you know, I always believe that there's like a part of us that believes it and a part of us that sees through it. I always try to make these things apparent and magical at the same time. Love and death, through up the window, love and death. I've been talking about art as species that interact with our lives, so making them self-generative underlines this unbroken stream of information or interaction that comes from the art objects. Nature is like an app, you know, there's self-generative movements that are created. It's like the difference between looking at a leaf in the wind that is constantly moving in an endless flow of new formation and to look at, for example, the mechanical movement of a clock that just goes tick-tock in a very predictable way. The complexity of all the different shapes and forms appearing is more nourishing than seeing things repeat endlessly. And I think being in that kind of an environment is calming for our nerve systems. Mm -hmm.